Welcome to Poly Playground. Today's focus is mastering modular wall construction, ideal for various projects or gaming environments. This tutorial caters to all, whether you're just starting or are a seasoned modeler. We're here to boost your workflow and spark your creative flair. Let's dive in. First things first, pointless but essential. Delete the starter cube with X and delete. Now bring it back in. Click Shift A, Mesh, and then select Cube. Before setting the dimensions, let's switch to Edit Mode with Tab. Here, adjust the X, Y, and Z locations to 1. This step is crucial for maintaining flexibility, especially when incorporating other modifiers like the Array modifier. Next, exit Edit Mode and finalize the dimensions. 0.5 on the X axis and 4 on both the Y and Z axis. Voila, our modular wall is ready. Time to organize. Create a new collection named Cutters. In the outliner, press C to initiate this. Add a cube to Cutters and name it as you wish. Activate the Snap button and adjust your viewport to the X position. Let's craft a window. Use G along with the Y and Z axis to position your window. Adjust the size on the Y and Z axis using S, followed by Y or Z. Now, select your wall, head to Modifiers, and choose Boolean. Change the operand type from Object to Collection, and select Cutters in the Collection tab. Almost there. Select your cutter and press H to hide it. Remember, apply your modifier before moving the wall or deleting the cutter. For now, keep it unapplied. To revisit the cutter, click the eye icon in the outliner. Duplicate the cutter, Shift plus D, then Enter, for our base window design. Create a new collection named Windows and move the duplicate there. Hide the original cutter. It may seem unchanged, but now you can modify this new object to form your window. Select the window, press S, then X to adjust the depth. Ensure both sides match your preference. Apply the scale, Command A for Mac, Control A for Windows. We apply the scale so that when insetting the window to make the frame, it stays even. In edit mode with faces selected, click on a side, hold Shift and select the other side. Press I to adjust or type 0.1 and enter. Right-click and choose Bridge Faces to create your window frame. Now let's add glass panels. In Edit Mode, use Command-R, Mac, or Control-R, Windows. Scroll the mouse wheel to get two loop cuts, then double-click. Still in Edit Mode, with Edge selected, use Option-Mac or Alt-Windows to select all sides of the rectangle, then press F to create a face. Repeat for the other loop cut. Your window is now complete. Let's color our objects. Hold Z and choose Material Preview. Select the wall, go to Material Properties, create a new material named Exterior Wall, and choose a color. To add more materials, click the plus icon in New. Name this Interior Wall. Now go into Edit Mode with Tab on your wall. Ensure you have faces selected and click the face you want your new color to be assigned to. Now click the interior wall material and click Assign. Do the same process for your window object. Let's see how easy it is to add more styles. Duplicate your wall, Shift plus D, and move it right to restore its solid form. Duplicate the window cutter for the new wall, adjusting size if needed. Hide with H and check the result. Continue this process for additional windows and remember to rename to manage duplicates effectively. If you want to start using these modular walls multiple times, you can apply the modifier of the Boolean then duplicate the objects and place them however you like. This method offers a fast, non-destructive way to create versatile modular builds for your projects. Feel free to add complexity with additional cuts or material changes. If this tutorial was helpful, Please like, share, and subscribe for more Blender tutorials. Leave your questions or ideas in the comments. Happy modeling, and see you in the next tutorial!